could even start to hurt us. All right, welcome to Operation Diamond Child. I'm not sure if um, if Roby will be jealous because he's the swamp child, and now we're going to rescue a diamond child. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome to Gucci Town. We are going to rescue a VIP, an enemy VIP. We are forcefully going to extract him or her, and we are going to get a big fat sack of loot. 130 supplies plus I think 90 plus intel so enough to make contact with just another region we had only flawless missions so far yep so very nice run that might be our breakthrough zero casualties super motivated and hardcore working team We got mostly upgraded weapons and I'm I, I think one of them will hit uh, the captain uh, the captain rank pretty soon because we are uh, we ha have now had a stable team for for a couple of missions so it's very likely that someone's going to hit the rank very likely I don't know why this mission is loading so long, but yeah, whatever. We are going to deploy in Novogrod, which is in Russia. One of the things that I uh, that I noticed after the patch is the loading time is a little bit longer than it used to uh, than it used to be i don't know why this is spe uh, specifically happening but yeah maybe they changed it and did more preloading of the models to smoothen it during the mission i don't know but yeah it takes a little bit longer to load now And that's on a more performant machine, like this one here, on the machine that I'm currently playing on is pretty high-end computer, so I'm surprised that it takes so long. Anyways, we are hidden, which means we want to keep that status as long as possible. Our target is going to be in this car. There's a tasty, tasty high, uh, high ground location here, which we will take. And we just need to get there. So that appears to be, yeah, I would say it's doable almost. Good, let's start by taking a peek down there. Just want to make sure we're not jumping down and all of a sudden there's a civilian. And the civilian is like, surprise, you're now being, um, you're now being spotted. Hope this is not happening. Okay. So yeah, we're not in a rush. Let's just move up here, like very coordinated, calmly. There's really no need to overdo it at the moment, I suppose. Let's get our scout in front. Sector plus two troopers. Nothing to be really afraid about.
<laughs> Chat is saying probably the enemies are now adding sector pods uh, because uh, it's not happy with uh, happy with RNG Jesus. I think we prayed so much for uh, to RNG Jesus that it finally um, has heard us. Okay, so all of these fields, look at that, huge, 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 huge detection range, all of these fields, no, no go to uh, to move through. We will just move up a little bit to here, and we'll keep it as such from here on. I'm just waiting for them to move back, not going to advance any further. Slowly and very, very painfully, they are trying to move here. I'm not going to be fooled and move here because I don't know what's behind there. Might be a second pack, whatever. Don't want to trigger another pack. We just need to let them go a little bit. I don't want to start a fight right away because we only have 10 rounds and I know how time intensive it can be to, to beat up uh, Sectoid. Sectoids with their 10 hit points are like some of the freaking most tanky uh, aliens that they do have at the beginning. So you gotta respect that if you need to look at timers. Going too fast would be not mindful, and I don't like I don't like that play at all. So instead, let's just keep it calm, civilized. Let's do this. We go with all of our guys place them here into proper position next uh, next turn we go for the high ground and then once we are at the high ground we might engage them yeah but the pick seems to have different plans too much positive RNGs, too much too much sneaking around they want to engage on us. So let's stay on Overwatch and hope they are just going away. Damn you, pesky sectoid. And damn you, you damn troopers. Get the away from here. We want to continue moving. Okay, they are really far enough away. That's good. Confirmed. Let's get a confirmed move up here. Perfect moment in time to do it. I don't see any reason for not getting into half cover here. Should be fine. Identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. That's a captain, two stun lances, and one trooper. So we better make sure not to trigger them preemptively. Let's do this. It's out of copy. Will do. All right, so let's come up with a master plan. The last known position of our sectoid squad is was here. 
there is definitely some sort of a wall in between so there is vision blockage which means I think it's more or less safe to stay up here for now I don't want to go onto this balcony because my gut feeling tells me they might have positioned someone just behind uh, the windows so we would take a couple of uh, chances to, to get spotted out which is unnecessary in that moment in time. We do have a nice flashbang grenade in, in, tr uh, in, in case things go south. Um, let's consider how we want to do it. We could go for a full full um, ambush here and the ambush would have good odds of hitting like 90% shots are really nothing to sneeze at now we want to get one grenade potentially off don't know about the civilian uh, about the VIP I mean that's the VIP is worth 80 intel so yeah that's definitely something that we don't want to waste problem is the VIP is also standing next to the car and I think we're not going to get away with this massive pack, very difficult pack, without at least hitting the car, if not the civilian. So, if you're still living in the fairy tale world of us going down there, punching the VIP and then kidnapping it, let me just shortly wake you up. It's not going to happen because we would probably get pretty much beaten up by these guys. Instead, the game plan now will probably be um, a grenade. And the question is, how do we want to do the follow-up? I like the idea of the lightning hands because it can give us some more optionality. But I also like the idea of just having straight up 100% hit chance, which is probably even better. And in case, in case of a doubt, I would go for the 100% hit chance. Well, with only one exception, if this guy here, the normal trooper, isn't dying, we might waste uh, a very good sniper, uh, sniper shot. So maybe we're not going to take any um, Overwatch. He would be a potential target for flashbang. But I don't want to flashbang these guys, I want to kill them right away. So let's go for an overwatch with him. That's number one. Question here is, do we want to have an Comet Protocol or do we prefer the 95% shot variant? I'm preferring the 95% shot variant because we need damage. Really a hell lot of damage. This here is... 23 points, 27 hit points, and we need to kill all of them. Affirmative. Covering now. We have one suppression if everything turns out to be suboptimal. But for now, I would just go with this. Unfortunately, the dark VIP, no matter how we do it, is going to be in the blast radius. But like I said, the fairy tale of us capturing him with such a strong pack next to it is just over. You don't want to be greedy, you want to be successful. Dark VIP is hurt, but not killed, so maybe he's also moving into cover, I don't know. No, he's just standing there like a full-blown retard, but yeah, whatever. Oh, I did a critical mistake. Of course, he uh, Pride is not going to take a shot because he has the uh, the Ranger upgrade, ah, the Phantom upgrade. I should have known that. That's really that was bad play from my side. Should have, shouldn't have done that uh, because that lost us one shot basically. Let's take the lightning hand shots here. Good. At least that works. And let's take the 80% shot to make sure that this guy here also dies. Alright, that's three down. So far it worked out pretty well. And I would say we are going to take a suppression fire on the stun lancer. 
Yeah, because why not? He's not being able to hit us then. Alright, he's moving in, he's moving in. But the minus 50 was too much. There's the spotted uh, flank. And there are the reinforcements. Fuck you. Lol. Alright, so. Um, suppression, greater, greater. His sprint of doom. I think we are going to let Wengstra finish him because he has 100% chance to hit him. With the reinforcements on their way, I have the slight feeling we don't want to trigger anything else. We still have nine more turns, so yeah. Let's reload and gather our troops here. Good. So, reloading for Wengstra. Let's do this. Killing of the Zedvin officer. That was good. I like it, Wengstra. Well done. Pride now finally can take also an overwatch shot. Good, and we will now see the landing. Four of them probably are going to be here for reinforce, uh, as reinforcements. And hopefully we will kill one or two with our overwatch. Alright, there we go. It's on. What the fuck is happening? I'm not even seeing what they are doing. Get it together. <laughs> I don't know what they uh what these guys uh did with their patch, but it's not a speed up, it is rather a little bit of a slowdown. Yeah, and instead of killing some, we have exactly killed zero. But we in, uh, incinerated this truck here, so I guess you gotta be happy with what you uh, with what you did instead of complaining about what you haven't done. This one here shouldn't trigger. And uh, this one here should kill the Advent Officer, plus get rid of the cover. So not, that's not a bad move, per se. Fire in the it's one secured kill for Rusticated, plus we'll probably can kill the other guy for 100%. Eighty percent, another eighty percent. Like, is this guy still in cover? No, he's not in cover. <sighs> the only reason why I don't want to move down there is I know that there is still the sectoid pack, and I don't, I can't be ours to trigger them as well. Because we would have too many enemies at once. Fortunately, my guys are not hitting their 70% shots at the moment. Now, all of a sudden, he realized that really the cover is gone, which was gone before. But now it's really, really gone. So after, after that, he has a 90% shot. Good job, Pride. <laughs> like, I don't know why, why this guy didn't, didn't like... Uh, immediately uh, hit him, but yeah, whatever. So with a proper grenade, we can kill this guy behind the truck for sure. 
question is, do we have the range to do so? We're a little bit short on range, but we can move here into half cover. I, I don't want to move him out of cover, so that's not an option. You never know. And this here should explode the truck, and with the truck explosion, the guy should automatically die. Yep, down he goes, down he goes. Now, it's time for an 80% sniper shot. And that's the beauty of high ground, ladies and gentlemen. We just completely annihilated these guys. And they didn't even stand a chance. Good, eight more rounds to go. We have assassinated our target. So that was successful. We killed one pack. We killed the reinforcements already, apparently. So yeah, let's take a peek here. Wow, the game is becoming progressively slower. I think it's eating memory again. Need to restart it after this mission. There's one guy here, one guy here. And the sectoid is over there. So if we move here, that's a secured kill for the guy who just jumped down. And we shouldn't trigger someone else. Alright, so that's a 100% kill for him. That's good. Looks like a plan. Rusticated can move to here without triggering something. And that's the second beauty of high ground. You are in a very, very nice position to jump down and just execute these guys. Okay, let's continue and just kill these guys first. They are the quote unquote dangerous ones. We could. We could go for here and then just use a grenade. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think we can't kill the sector right away. As far as I'm concerned, there's no pack here. The last pack will probably be around this side. So I guess it's safe to jump down here. I didn't want to, I do not want to trigger something else though. So yeah, I don't know. All right, I'll go. Let's move up here. Get rid of his cover. And maybe we can incinerate him with the grenade. Eight protocol, just in case he thinks that's a good idea to flank Rusticated. And our sniper is on overwatch because we reloaded. 
So yeah, let's see what the what the sector is is going to do. Yeah, it was uh, it was honestly it was to be expected that he would reanimate something. So not very surprising. Let's just kill him with a sword. How many is that now? Good. I was pretty sure uh, that we are not triggering anything on this side. If we would have, now it was a good time to move in because we still have all of the other four guys that could fully move. So I'm not afraid to trigger something. Let's reload and get onto Overwatch. There's one more pack on this mission. And I guess it's a quad, so four guys. Probably, I would say, maybe an officer with three of the troopers. That would be fitting. Not really an officer. It seems two stun lances, a trooper, and a sector. And we only got one more grenade. Which, honestly speaking, we could use to get rid of the cover and significantly hamper both of these guys. Probably we're going to do it. But before we do that, I would like to aid protocol Wangstra himself, because he's currently the frontliner. Doesn't take too much, like only one partial action. Oh no, I moved... Oh, that was stupid. I had moved him before. Ah, GG. That was really stupid. I had moved him before. I shouldn't have used that, of course. That was pretty stupid. Well, it happens. Let's do the best out of the situation. We want to get rid of both of, both of them. And I think the highest chance is starting with the guy on the bottom. Missed lightning hand shots. We don't have any more option to get rid of the cover. So it's really us shooting into cover as of now. Another 80% shot missed. That's really on us. It could have been a 100% shot if we weren't using if we weren't using um, a protocol. Okay, so he's in half cover. Maybe we can still move him into something more appropriate. Yep, up here is also half cover, plus he will get the high ground bonus. That's better. Seventy percent. Five points of damage. That looks good. Now, with the very unfortunate start, I suppose Here I come. we need to take the flashbang in order to uh, save us for now. The flashbang would only hit the guy on the bottom though. Oh no, there we had one position where it hits both. Uh, it 
it's a little bit more difficult than it might look here here That one's hitting the guy on top. It has hit both of them. Has hit both of them. Now, if both of them are... If both of them are currently blinded, then the only thing that's left to do is... Um, get a proper position and suppress the guy on the rooftop. I'm okay with him in half cover because there are so many guys in half cover anyways. So let's suppress the, uh, the trooper on the rooftop just to make sure that none of them do have a chance of hitting us. Really bad move. I should have used the grenade at the start. Wow, okay. So the two of them now went on to Overwatch because they knew they were not having good odds. He couldn't be on Overwatch, hence he took the shot, but he had really no chance of hitting. And now we can finally make up for our mistake. These two guys are on Overwatch, but there is a chance to hurt both of them. And I'm going to take the chance. Probably we need to kill the zombie as well. Overwatch removed. One of them fell down. The other one got killed. So yeah, that was successful. Now also the sector is in a pretty decent position to take shots at. One hundred percent chance to hit the sector. It, I like it. But we also need to take care about the stun lancer. I mean, there's like that's a no-brainer. We need to take care about the stun lancer. He could suppress again if there would be the need for it. So yeah, the Psy Zombie... Uh, the, the greedy play would be to go for the uh, Sector, but maybe we are investing too much and we are ending up with, with nothing achieved at all. Like, it is possible to kill the Sector, but it's probably not going to happen. Probably not. So instead, let's reload. Let's make sure the Lancer dies and the zombie dies. You always need to calculate also the downside. And yeah, things like that, 88% shots can miss. That is not a joke. Well, that is unfortunate reality. Zombie down, that was good. Even some bonus XP for us. Not going for the sector, we're taking the 100% shot on the stun lancer because he's more dangerous. Dropped a little bit of loot, that's good. That's a 50-50 to kill this guy or a 100% chance to take him out of combat and we I guess we still have enough rounds so I'm I'm not terribly concerned about about that I now got a mind control Taking 
Suppression is working wonders. So our sniper has only two options, so let's take out this guy up here. No more suppression for him. And now we go for the sectoid. We know that the sectoid is down there. So moving into here means half cover. But it also means that we will uh, that we will be able to take a shot at the sector. Why is he having full cover? I'm I'm very very surprised about that. Oh really? This machine here is full cover. Wow. Wow. I guess we are not having that many options because realistically speaking we can't run away and wait two more rounds because that will just hurt us real bad. So the way to go here is destroy the cover. That's the reason why I'm painfully shooting into full cover. It's a 28% shot. Not, I think it's not going to hit. It's still moving. My ammo's running low. We have destroyed this one here, but it seems to be that this position is still full cover. For I don't know what uh, why it is still full cover. No, now it says slow cover. So we destroyed the full cover one. But it's still 50-50 shot and it's not going to kill it this round. Nope. Not going to work out. So probably this is the first time that we are taking damage. I would be very surprised if if that is not the case. Are you shitting me? Seven points of damage critical in the face? Wow. Wow. And we need to and we need to think about getting out of here as well. Cuz it's not that long uh, that long before we need to get out of here. Yeah, that's the reason why I am now moving everyone to the evac zone. Let's hope that he's taking the bait and is also moving into our direction because it's this is the last turn. I'm still being a little bit mad about these seven points of damage straight up. Um, straight up crit into the face. Well, that is that was really unlucky. Like maximum damage crit. Wow. Such a shitty way to die. Roger 
Wow, is the sniper really just panicked? Oh my god, we just lost not only the uh, our uh, ranger, but also our sniper because he now panicked. Wow, so bad. That was really, really, really fucking terrible. Interceptors within striking distance in 30 seconds. Firebrand, clear the area. Status that was mission a terrible mission, guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm mad at myself because I did one crucial mistake. I should have thrown the grenade um, earlier, the one round earlier. So that would have probably freed up a lot of resources. We had a very solid position until this mind control. And from the p uh, point in time when we uh, ended up with the mind control onwards, it just went downhill. Mind control effectively just killed two units. Wow. We can get our sniper back at a later stage in time because he just got captured. But still, it feels like a significant pushback from, uh, um, from the current situation. Sniper was nearly at kill zone. And of course, Pride just died. That's really bad as well. Flashbang grenade is gone, by the way. It was on him. So we lost also 30 resource units. Not good. Not good. Hello, Commander. We got 140 supplies. Probably overall not worth it losing our guys. We were successful over uh, overall as well. But our roster now shrinked a little bit. We need to go for another sharpshooter, definitely. Uh, that was a bad, bad mission. We had such a good run, but we're not going to give up. It can't be all fairy tales and ponies all the time. Hello, Sometimes Peter. it's just like not working out in our favor. Well, that's about it. Medkit, by the way, also got dumped down the drain because that was on our sniper. Guess what? It's gone. Fuck you! So yeah, medkit, flashbang. Basically that already ate up half of our reward that we received. Good. 230 additional supplies. That's good. Advent uh, receives armor padding. That is not very pleasant. Advent becomes a uh, 50 le less time to complete concealed missions. Oh my god. That's not good. Hopefully we can counter this high alert event because lower timer is not a good not good news for us. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Good. Slow, Here we are. We could get a ranger for 100 intel, which we do not have because we needed to kill the VIP. But yeah, the ranger definitely would make a nice, nice difference now. We can sell a, a bunch of sectored corpses. And a couple of stun lancer corpses. That's about it. Uh, nice that they are interested in all of that stuff. 
we get a little bit more supplies. Look at that enormous amounts of trooper corpses. Let's wait until they are interested in them. So we can we can give them a little bit more uh, trooper corpses for six apiece. There's the UFO which is hunting us. Let's not fly into the UFO please. Thank you. Just went away. We could go for, look at that, another ranger for 180 supplies. Probably we need to go for this. I'm I'm pained to tell you, but uh, we need to refresh our ranks, elsewise this is going to be very difficult. So that's number one. Yes. And we are short on engineers as well, so I'm even going to buy the engineer. The AWC is going to proceed and we can start excavating here as well. We're now again okay, like two engineers, three scientists, that's more or less okay, but we could even use one more engineer. Next thing that we would want to get is additional resistant contacts, uh, which you can see up here in the corner. Did the UFO just fly by? Let's move to the uh, market. I don't want to be near that UFO. Okay, even if even if that took a little bit more time, I'm happy that we did it. We are upgrading our supplies up to 150, just in case something costs 150. Um, no, by thinking about it, let's upgrade it to. Let's upgrade it to 200 in case we are researching weapons and we need the upgrade. That will cost us a pretty penny, so 200 is probably okay here. Wow, only one more day until magnetic weapons. Finally. Finally. We are going to go on with Gauss weapons because it's like super important. Can't stretch that enough. Here's our new ranger, by the way. Time to promote her. A little bit of phantom. Welcome on board. We got, by the way, another ranger here, Arthur Robertson. So yeah, two rangers, two grenadiers, a specialist, and we are in the training of our snipers. So that looks more or less okay again, but I guess we have less room for failure now after we lost two of our crew wow and one of the and the ranger also had the hair trigger oh, that's really bad i like i like the weapon with the hair trigger yeah shit happens okay so let's build magnetic weapons shall we Two hundred supplies. A shotgun is another seventy-five supplies. So yeah, let's start with the two hundred supplies. And if we could get seventy-five more supplies, I guess that would be worthwhile doing it. So here we go back to the black market. Let's sell a little bit more. Normally I'm not a big Hey Nightcom, greetings. No, we are no longer on Gatecrasher. In fact, we are at the end of month two. No, we are already in month three. Um, and we had eight missions in a row which went flawless, literally flawless. 
And yeah, then we had the last mission, which was not super flawless, to be quite honest. It was not really flawless. We need a couple of these trooper corpses later, so let's keep them at 15. Elarium will be very much later in the game important, so for now selling a bit doesn't hurt too much. And the shotgun is really a nice upgrade. So yeah, here we go, shotgun. Perfect. Our alloys are getting lower now, but therefore we finally have weapon upgrades. We're just missing the necessary loot to put it into the weapons, but the weapons themselves are very, very good for now. So I'm happy with this. Very happy. Just in time, look at that. Protect the device. We definitely need intel, so that's probably going to be our call. The extra armor is very bad, we don't want to uh, make that one. But lowers the time to complete missions out of concealment by 50%. This is, we, we just need to do this one, elsewise, with the um, amount of enemies that we do have, I don't see how I could do it with half of the timer time. That's just abysmal bad. We, we need to complete this mission. Okay, sharpshooter training, six more days, not going to help us out here. We are going to take... A non-optimal team, but nevertheless it is a team, to this mission. We are giving one of our rangers the flashbang grenade. And the other ranger gets our medkit, just in case. Yeah, we don't have the weapon upgrades, that's a little bit painful. We don't have a sniper either, but yeah, that's the only spot that we can field at the moment, so I guess let's go. Um, I don't know if that is a modded dark event, I haven't had any uh, mods for dark events installed, I never ever had the mod uh, with, um, with the 50% timer reduction. Maybe it is a part of the um, the mod True Concealment that we are using, but we are using True Concealment um, as to counter the fact that without True Concealment it's simply not possible to, to run through the missions because we the fights will take too long. And that was one of the quote-unquote arrangements that we did at the beginning. I'm not aware that I've uh, installed any of the mods, but this dark event cannot be successful. If that one is successful, we are facing one month of probably not completable missions. 